Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on our software testing bootcamp where we are talking about the chapter five that is the test management. And today we'll be continuing ahead with 5.2 roles and responsibility in testing and summarizing up the coordination between the test manager and the test engineer. Now, when it comes to two different roles, in our previous tutorial, we tried understanding how the roles and responsibility are distributed in between the test manager and the test engineer. But it does not mean that they are cut off from each other. It's more importantly to understand that they might have different responsibilities towards a particular test process, but they are always in sync. The sync here is more about coordination, it's more about understanding that what exactly a test manager is planning out for the entire process and what a test engineer has to take care of in order to perform them and get back to the test manager if observing any kind of deviations from the expected outline. Now, more importantly, a test manager is certainly who begins the journey of the test process and defines the entire outline, including the plan of the test process, also the the goal, the objective of each and every parameter what you're going to conduct for a particular project. Now this plan has to be in line with all those goals which you have defined to achieve at the end of the entire project. Also a tester at the same time is responsible to perform all the necessary activities right from test analysis, uh, writing the test cases, defining the test procedure, organizing them into the test execution schedule, which is based on the prioritization and executing all possible tests. At the same time, every single execution may not pass. So any, any particular execution which may fail has to be reported with a defect to the developer and has to be tracked at the same time. Now, given that on a nutshell, we are trying to understand a manager is someone who is defining the overall process, defining the set of activities, scheduling them, defining them, and deciding what exactly is needed to be done. And tester is someone who is performing all those activities. So what kind of sync <clears throat> can be performed here? Now, test manager explains the entire process, the entire plan, the goals to be achieved, and several other things what needs to be performed to the testers. Now, the test engineer has to ask several questions to the test manager as well, just like how we ask questions to the business analyst to make sure that we understand what is the ask or expectation here. Now, at the same time, if we observe any kind of deviations, we bring this to the uh, attention of the test manager to make sure that the test manager is aware and can take necessary control actions to overcome the deviations at any point of time. Sometimes it is also possible that you might have written some test cases which are no longer required to be executed because initially you thought there are different expectations, but later when you started understanding and interacting with the product, you realize you have written a lot of extra test cases. So you have to skip or move them out of your test suite and just perform the necessary execution. So in that context as well, you keep your test manager posted that, hey, this is where we are and I don't think any more test cases are required to be executed from a particular module. Now, any, any kind of deviation, first of all, should be prevented because in case it happens, it should be, you know, having some kind of blocker. It can have any kind of, you know, showstopper or could hold your work back for some time, which is not recommended at all. So first of all, we always look forward to prevent things and to prevent it, the journey begins with having a good sync with the test manager. You let know the test manager that, hey, even I'm a tester and I've been testing such products for some time. And I believe that we should have these sort of information available by so-and-so date as per the plan. But today we don't see that document right so when actually the performance of the process is going on like the schedule the timelines the availability of certain specific things as per the entry criteria you bring it to the information of or the knowledge of the manager that okay you know what you scheduled it for so and so date and as of now today we don't have a clarity on so and so requirement and it may get for delayed further right a test manager should always look forward to listen to the test engineers okay it's not necessary that a test manager will always try to you know apply their you know hard-coded rules to the team 
they always spend time with the test engineers to understand their shoe, their uh, activities on day-to-day -day basis and try to listen to their problems and understand how it can be resolved. Also, it does not just limit there with the ongoing activities. It also deals with understanding the team's strength and the weaknesses. Sometimes you don't have the right set of people to perform the necessary executions. For example, what if I have a team of five people and all the five engineers are manual testers, right? It's, it's not what I need maybe as per the scope. I may need few automation tester and that two automation tester, what I'm looking for is for a specific tool like Catalon Studio or Selenium. Now maybe my engineers whom I have are all manual, then this is not a perfect team. So I should look forward to ramp up my team, give them a training or hire some additional resources to perform the necessary work according to the timeline, right? So being a tester, you should look forward to the opportunities, what you need to do uh, in terms of ramping up yourself, in terms of grabbing some new skill in order to help the project get executed smoothly. Also, a test engineer is equally responsible to perform all necessary executions to identify various defects. Now, again, these are not just limited to the functional testing. It is certainly talking about every single execution what you might be doing as a part of the whole journey, right? Including the functionals like integration system, you're talking about non-functional. Of course, not just one tester will be performing all these executions. You may have different team of members, but we are talking about the role here as a test engineer, okay? We do not have test manager executing non-functional testing or security test and sort of thing. It's just the test engineer again with their specialization who will be taking care of uh, all other parameter, right? So that's where uh, the sync between the test manager and the test engineer is pretty crucial because if we have any kind of gaps, the manager might be taking certain decisions which are not relevant to the activities ongoing or the problem which the test engineers are facing, the test manager may not have any kind of idea about the same, right? So just a quick exposure to understand that they might be two different roles, but they are all synced together to perform the necessary operations within the test process. Well, that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.